King Charles and Queen Camilla's second honeymoon home at Balmoral. King Charles and Queen Camilla have already made their way up to Balmoral in the Scottish Highlands where the royal family will join them for their summer holiday until the end of August. While the late Queen Elizabeth was said to adore Balmoral Castle on the vast estate, King Charles has chosen to develop his own traditions, as he and Queen Camilla will not be staying at the main house. Instead they will be retreating to Burke Hall, their own residence on the estate, only venturing to the main house for entertaining or to see other royals who will be staying there. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The home has a special place in both the King and Queen's hearts. It's where the couple enjoyed their honeymoon in 2005 and is said to be a place they always call their second honeymoon retreat. Burke Hall isn't just a favourite for Charles and Camilla, it was also a honeymoon haven for the late Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Prince Edward, and Sophie, the Duke and Duchess of Kent and Princess Alexandra, and Angus Ogilvy. Burke Hall's history is closely entwined with that of the most senior royals, many of whom have spent happy holidays there over the decades. The house was first built by the Farquharson clan in 1715 and was not acquired by the royals until 1852, when Queen Victoria's husband Prince Albert bought it as a gift for his son the future King Edward VII. However, he only visited the property once and it passed back into the family's hands, until the 1930s when George V lent it to the then Duke and Duchess of York, who would later become King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. The royal couple completely redecorated the house and gardens, with Charles sharing his grandfather's passion for getting his hands dirty in the garden. The late Queen enjoyed summer holidays there as a princess with her sister Princess Margaret, later staying there with Prince Philip and a young Charles and Princess and before she ascended the throne. The Queen Mother was the principal caretaker of Burke Hall from 1952 until her death in 2002, when the property passed to the then Prince Charles, who has added his own touches to the beloved gardens. He told Country Life magazine in 2013, It is such a special place, particularly because it was made by my grandmother. It is a childhood garden, and all I've done, really, is enhance it a bit. Close to the house the River Mick can be heard rushing by, as the King explained to the BBC, one of the most marvellous things about, Burke Hall, is it's by this river called the Mick, and it has this wonderful sound of rushing water. When you are in the house it's very calming and peaceful I think. It has a very special atmosphere. The house is rather wonderful. The spectacular grounds of the property feature a sloping lawn, falling away to a terrace bordered by fruit trees and surrounded by beds of red roses. Many fruit and vegetables are also grown here to supply the house, with anything not available at Burke Hall being brought up from the King's home at Highgrove in Gloucestershire. A flood in 2016 almost ruined much of the garden and left Charles devastated, however it has fortunately recovered, with the house's grand entrance and large porch providing the backdrop for Charles and Camilla's Christmas card in 2020. Inside the property is equally magnificent, but the main focus is that of family, as the king has kept his late grandmother's collection of framed Vanity Fair prints along the stairs. Pictures of the family are everywhere as inside the cosy drawing room photographs of Princes William and Harry with their wives and children are proudly on display. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla is able to customize her own space in her private office, where she keeps her own family portraits, including a painting of Charles on an easel.